All right then, what is going on guys and girls? Welcome back to the Gold Nugget channel and welcome back to another episode of What's in the Bag. Today we're going to go right into Dustin Johnson's What's in the Bag. He won very recently in Saudi Arabia with a somewhat interesting setup and let's go into it right now. So, first of all, let's go driver. I've got here with me today a TaylorMade Sim 2 driver, but what Dustin actually had was a TaylorMade Sim driver. He changed back to a TaylorMade Sim driver with a Fujikura speed at 661, a very stiff shaft for this tournament and actually won, which is quite interesting. Not sure why I did that, because he did try the Sim 2 out the week before, but he went back to the Sim and it worked quite well. Still though, when we go on to Fairway Woods, he has changed to the TaylorMade Sim 2s. So here he has got a TaylorMade Sim 2 Titanium 3 wood, so 15 degrees with a Fujikura Ventus Black 8X shaft. That is a very, very popular shaft on tour and it's no surprise that Dustin is using it. The AX is pretty stiff, which you can be expected with the DJ shafts and you can see he bombs it well over 300 yards. So a very impressive club that he has. An interesting one that he did also add is a TaylorMade Sim Max 7 wood. I've never seen this in DJ's bag before. I know he has toyed about with a few different things from a five wood, seven wood and a driving iron. I think it does depend on the course. He does go back and forth. But for Saudi Arabia, he had a Sim Max 7 wood in his bag, which I don't see a lot of pros using. So it's interesting to see why he did that. Perhaps it was just for certain types of holes. But yeah, I wouldn't really think DJ would be the person to put a seven wood in his bag. So yeah, quite a strange one there. DJ has the 7 wood in the Project X Hazardous Black in a 6.5. So you can see there it's a little bit less in terms of the stiff flex, which means that he's probably trying to go for control with this club to try and hit it about 260 yards. Now let's go on to irons. So DJ has stayed with these irons for quite a while and it's a Tailmade P730, so a few years old, and they are a limited edition for Dustin Johnson. He's got those in through to pitching wedge and they are in a dynamic gold X100 shaft, which is soft stepped. So this is again quite a stiff flex, but Nothing too out there really. And it's quite interesting to see that DJ hasn't changed from the P730s to the P7MB, such as Roy McElroy. It is probably because he has had a limited edition set and if you're happy with a set of irons, there's no need to change them. And it seems pretty obvious that DJ's happy with these sets of irons. And now let's go on to wedges. So DJ has the TaylorMade MG wedges. So not the MG2, which really shows, along with other irons, that DJ doesn't really like changing clubs unless he actually has to. He's very comfortable with these MG wedges. They are in a 52, which is bent to 54, and a 60 degree as well, which is what you had in Saudi Arabia. I would expect that to change and maybe include another wedge in the bag for different types of courses. But he has that with a KBS Tour Custom 120 gram shaft and Stiff Flex, which is quite interesting to see because Stiff Flex, kind of similar to Roy McIlroy in that he's gone for something that's not as stiff, so he can really fine tune that control on his wedge game. Now let's quickly go on to Putter, the moneymaker, the club that DJ has changed about a little bit, but now he's got a putter that is here to stay. So Dustin Johnson has a tailor-made Itsy Bitsy limited edition spider putter in black. Very strange for me to think about that because there's so many other putters that he could have that are new additions. The Spider X, the Spider Chalk, there's so many different variations of spider and the Itsy Bitsy is one that is being released for quite some time. Obviously, it is a limited edition putter that has been made exactly to DJ specs, and it seems that now he likes it, he's not going to change for a very, very long time. It served him very well at the Masters and for in Saudi Arabia as well, so don't expect this to change anytime soon. And finally, going on to golf ball, Dustin Johnson uses the brand new TaylorMade TP5X golf ball that was announced very, very recently. Not surprising, exactly the same as Roy Macro's one, and one that promotes low spin, so nothing really too drastic here. And we'll get our hands on the new TaylorMade TP5 golf balls very, very soon. So keep your eyes peeled for a review on the Golf Planet YouTube channel. That's it for Dustin Johnson's bag. It's quite interesting to look at the actual variations he has in his bag for the different sets in terms of the release date. He's got a TaylorMade Sim driver, Sim 2 Fairway Woods, P730 irons. It seems that DJ isn't one to change equipment that hastily. It seems that when he likes one, it's here to stay. And we don't blame him because TaylorMade release exceptional equipment year round. So. I don't think any of that's going to change very soon, but I would think that the driver maybe may change to the TaylorMade Sim 2 come the Masters. We'll have to wait and see. If you guys did enjoy this video today, leave a like down below and let me know what you guys want to see next in terms of what's in the bag. Next week, we have already got Brooks Kepka scheduled and he is a recent champion on the Waste Management Phoenix Open and his bag is pretty, pretty varied. So stay tuned for that one because you'll be surprised as to what he has in his bag and what we could see in store for Brooks Kepka throughout the year. If you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button down below to keep up to date with all our what's in the bags, equipment reviews, comparisons, and much, much more to help you guys with your game for all of 2021. I'll see you guys at the next video.